Alright, so in week one for the ball bounces we did 30, week two was 40, now we're at 50 for the ball bounces. Again, awesome if you're watching TV, so just start bouncing. One of those exercises, like I said before, it's very hard to not smile. And if someone comes into the living room like my mom or my sister or someone that I don't really know, they are like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm just bouncing on the ball. Now don't go too high because then you'll go flying and you'll hurt yourself. And remember, if you're tired, do not do this exercise because you don't want to smash your head on something. I think I'm at around 15 now. You got to keep going. Bouncy, bouncy. And it's one of those few exercises that you're not going to forget. And you're probably going to end up starting doing this one or end up ending with this one. All right. So get on there and start bouncing on the ball. All right, this next exercise is called sitting front thrusts. All right, now, could be a little awkward. Just saying, we want to put that out there. All you're going to be doing is again, holding proper, uh, proper posture. You're going to just have your hands, maybe your front on your chest or to the sides, and maybe you want to be flexing or holding your back back. And all you're going to be doing is you're going to thrust forward gently on the ball, okay? This is actually working out your lower back as well as is working out your front abdominals. And honest to goodness, I do this sometimes when I'm watching my favorite uh, TV show or I'm watching like a sports show. And you do this for like, anyway, again, we're doing them in reps of 20, but if you do it for like a minute or so, you'll really feel it on both sides, not only on your back, but you're gonna feel it on your abdominals as well. And you're gonna feel a lot tighter, especially if you do it after a couple days, weeks, or if it becomes a regular routine before you go to bed or something like that. And again, with all these exercises, it doesn't really make you sweat and you know you're working out your body and that's really cool. So we're going to be doing a little bit more of an intensive side twist on this next one. What we're going to be doing is our feet are parallel with our shoulders as well as our knees. We are going to then take our arms and sometimes you could be holding a weight or sometimes they'll do it with a basketball. And you're going to just make your body as straight as possible like you're basically sitting in a chair. So we're going to go side okay and when we go side our heels are going to kick out and our wrists are going to the same side and our fists are going to the same side 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 almost kind of like you're skiing okay all right and when you're doing this motion okay you're going to really work on your abs as well as your stability muscles throughout your body because your body is trying to stay on the ball while you're moving side to side now you can get a little bit more i guess you could say vigorous with it you move side to side, all right? Or you can just kind of trot, little by little. Okay, you want to do this maybe 20 times, and remember doing two sets. So if you want, you can always pause the video, and then do it again if you'd like, or go up to 30 or 40. It's up to you, just make sure you're safe and you don't fall off. Oh yeah, and if you like what I'm doing, please... Tweet! Tumble! Like! Share! Thumbs up! Plus! Pin! Or do whatever you do, and please, subscribe!